Bill Morneau's trip to Washington comes at a time of great uncertainty, where every decision made in the American capital can resonate at home. The forecast processing can actually starts with the U.S. economy. Former parliamentary budget officer Kevin Page argues that in the short term, the Trump agenda could be good for Canada. Big moves on infrastructure and tax cuts could boost U.S. growth and take Canada along for the ride. And there's a positive element to this. You know, again, as we're talking about this, the sugar rush, so in the short term, 2017, stronger U.S. economy and stronger Canadian economy. But after every sugar rush, there's a crash. Trump's promised infrastructure spending and tax cuts would balloon the U.S. deficit, creating other problems that will also affect Canada. Then you're dealing with inflation and higher interest rates. And yeah, that will constrain the, the growth in the economy and that will put pressure on budgetary balances in addition because there's a lot of debt. And that's why Canadian officials are bracing for a downside. Within days of Trump's election win, senior finance officials drafted this briefing note assessing the Trump tax plan and its implications for Canada, much of which is blacked out. One concern is that a steep drop in U.S. taxes will make Canada less competitive for the companies and the skilled workers that are central to Trudeau's economic plan. And on another front, there is big concern that Canada could be collateral damage as Trump imposes his America First trade agenda, which is why Morneau will meet with White House officials and congressional leaders to protect an economic partnership worth $2 billion a day. Our continuing goal is to uh, engage, to uh, ensure that we provide the information on the positive benefits of Canada-U.S. trade, both for Canadians and for Americans. While the Trudeau government has to account for the impact of Trump, a senior government source says the upcoming budget will not be a reaction document. Instead, it will be a continuation of the liberal agenda with a heavy focus on economic growth through infrastructure and innovation. David Cochran, CBC News, Ottawa.